Hi, Transition Room friends. How is everybody? So beautiful out. I had to do it outside. Still a little windy, but it's okay. So today I wanted to make a beach ball because I have a feeling we're going to be spending some time at the beach. And what better craft to do than make your own little beach ball? So what you're going to need is a pencil, a pair of scissors, a ruler or something that's flat, glue, a paper plate if you have one. If you don't, just use the back of a cereal box or um, any cardboard that you can cut out that's a little bit stronger than regular paper. And that's fine. If you need help making the circle, just ask one of your family members. A piece of white paper and some colored construction paper. Whatever color you want. I, I found a whole pack of these, so I got a bunch right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make some lines for the beach ball. So I'm going to take my pencil and hopefully you can see this and I'll put it back here. There you go. It doesn't have to be flat all the way. Make sure you're doing your pinch and make one line down the middle. Okay, then turn this paper over and make another line down the middle. Bug. Mm -hmm. So it's going to look like that. And then the next thing you're going to do is take your white piece of paper. And if you have something that's a circle, um, like a paper towel roll that can be cut or some sort of flat object that you can trace, a bottle cap, whichever, or if you can just make a circle, that's completely fine. I have this little cap that goes to my mason jar so I'm gonna trace a circle out and then I'm gonna cut it so I'm tracing that I made a circle so what I'm gonna do now is gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it out again it doesn't have to be perfect just a fun beach ball my circle and it doesn't work out just do it again ah, it's always breezy I do like the breeze though okay so now that I have that I'm gonna try to hold things down I'm gonna take first I'm gonna take my red paper and we're gonna do torn paper beach ball. So you don't have to cut it. Just tear it off. And I don't I don't want to use huge pieces. I want to use a little bit smaller, kind of like this. And then we're gonna glue them all. They don't have to be tiny though, but this, if you can see, is a good size. Don't mind my nails. I'm gonna do them today. and then I'm gonna glue them down. I like to glue the paper first, or the paper plate. Sometimes if you're going here, it gets on your hands, and I find it easier. So just pick, there's gonna be four triangles, okay? So pick one triangle and put one color on that one. See, I'm putting that down. And then I'm gonna put my paper down and I'm gonna press it. Take a bunch, 
Let's tear it. This is really good for your hand muscles. You'll be able to grip a bike better, a baseball, a basketball, anything you want. Just work those muscles in your, in your fingers and your hand. It's a workout. Put this down. See that one's little too, but not too, too many little ones. I might put glue all over for me. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm gonna put glue all over and put these down as fast as I can because I have a feeling they might blow away. Okay. Let's try this. It's like I'm being timed. You can always add more. If you want to add more after it dries, it's fine. Okay. This is so awesome out. So happy it's nice out. After this, I'm gonna have to do some yard work. We'll just tend to my flowers. They're in need of care. They've been watered, but I might add some more to my flower boxes. I think I wanna add some yellow. I didn't at first, but now I wanna add yellow. Maybe it's because all of the sunshine we're getting. Okay, so here's the first part of my beach ball. Okay? And I know I did that kind of quick, but I was kind of working against the wind here. All right, the next color I'm going to do, I'm going to do green. And I'm going to put this all over this triangle first. This is going to be my second triangle and then I have two more after that because there's four triangles all together. And if you wanted to do more smaller triangles you could do that too or if you wanted to use a bigger piece of paper if you didn't have any pieces I mean any paper plates then fine. You could do six triangles but the ruler the different way so you can have six. I like to do it all different ways. So they're all different sizes. I have to hold it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I feel like I'm in a competition I'm trying to get this done so fast with the wind. You can even layer them too. Remember, the purple glue dries clear. I know all of you know that anyway, so you don't have to worry about that either. do my third triangle. What color should I do? I'm going to do yellow. I'm going to do yellow. Sometimes the ridges of the plate, which are the little, see these little marks, those are ridges. You might have to kind of get in the middle of them to put the glue in there. Because if you go over them, it just goes on the higher bump the higher part of the ridge. Okay. I'm ready. I wonder if 
Do I even have a beach ball? I think I do. Probably has to be blown up. If it goes over the edges like that, that's fine. Don't worry about that. See how there's a little bit of gapping? That's okay. If you want to layer more, you can. If you don't, you don't. It's coming along. I think I'm gonna use blue. This is a great color. I really like this color. Putting all my glue on. See when they're too tiny? I, I made one a little bit small and it was sticking to my finger. If you find some that are sticking up, just put a little glue on top, tear off another piece, and stick another one down. And again, I would just do one at a time. I'm doing it fast because it's windy and I'll lose all of them. But the glue is starting to dry because I did the whole thing first. So I would recommend gluing and then put it down. If you're not outside. But you can do it outside too. The glue just might dry a little quick on you. my beach ball. It's not finished yet though. Okay, so I'm going to take the circle that I that I cut out and I'm going to put the glue in the middle. As you see, I'm putting in the middle of all the colors where all the colors meet and I'm going to place it down. This looks so cool. This is beginning to feel like summer. It's gonna be summer soon. It's my beach ball. I love it. So any beach balls that you make, please take have your family member take a picture and send it to us so that we can put it in our newsletter. And then you can see yourself holding it up and I want to see all your beach balls. I want to see all the colors you use. Maybe use the same as mine. Maybe use different colors. Maybe use glitter paper. Maybe you did something totally different with the colors. I love to see that stuff. 
So take a picture. I love it. I'm excited. Okay. Can't wait to see your work. And I'm going to see you soon. Have a wonderful day. And we miss you very much. Sherry and I miss you very much. And we're also very proud of you. Bye.